Let's move the Oreos out of the way really quick. All right, so right now we're looking very fucking good, very happy. Uh, no longer using the prime. Prime was a little heavy on the tests, very heavy, much heavier than it needed to be. This is way better. Aida 64 Extreme using the trial version. As we can see, the motherboard is well within its temperature levels. Doesn't the head hasn't really increased. This is a small clock, but uh, this is like the best way to overclock something by going at like uh, small intervals, right? So the CPU is right now showing at 40 degrees Celsius. So each core is the same, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit, a little over human body temperature, right? Our GPU is good. Doesn't really get affected either way. Northbridge is great because at 4.2 at the same voltage, we did run higher temps. We were running like 48 degrees for CPU cores, and uh, our North Bridge was around 52 degrees. So there was a little bit of droop over there. So right now, it seems like it's kind of using all of its energy, and I also like disabled the, the CPU fan control so I can get that 1979 2000 RPM fan. So it keeps everything cooler. Great, right? So the GPU doesn't really matter. Right now, we're using... For the voltage values for the CPU core is 1.356, I think. Uh, yep. Yep. And we can actually look at it through here, too. That's our little things right here. And we want to look at the test right here. We've been running this test. Before this, I just, you know, started with, a, with, with what I thought that number would be good, which number would be good to start with. So kind of took a leap of uh, faith. With 4.2, I upped the, the voltage by 0 0.08 volts, uh, which brought me to 1.375. What I did was um, I subtracted 1.375 value by 1.296, which was the voltage that I was seeing. Uh, we did have a little bit of a 1 degree Celsius increase there. But that's not a problem. We'll keep running this for about 30 minutes to see. I'll do this for about 15 minutes to see if it's stable. If it's stable, it's good because temperatures are like going back down and stuff. So that's good. Everything looks great. If it looks good, I'm just going to go back to BIOS again and uh, increase the multiplier by uh, 0.5 at a time. So next step is uh, 4.4. 4. 4. Yep, it's going to be 4.4 at by times 22 or multiplier by 22. I'm not going to change the voltage, no, because we still have leverage right here. Our core temperatures individually and stuff are looking great. We've been at 100% uh, CPU usage this whole time, so there hasn't been any drops. There hasn't been any concerns. Cooling fans, they're all good 100% of the time, so... Everything is being utilized very nicely. As we can see right here, our CPU core is at 1.368. So great. Uh, does drop to uh, 1.356 at times. I don't know why, but that number is uh, getting smaller and smaller each time. So we're just going to maybe, I think this can actually support 4.4. If it doesn't, we'll just increase it incrementally. Um, we see right here that we're well within levels right here, and the numbers have been very, very well sustained. Uh, let's look at the clocks. Right now, we're at 4,320, so the clocks haven't really changed for any of them. HT is looking great. Uh, Northbridge is looking great. The core stays stable, man. Stable, like just 4,320. Just stable. Great. I really like this. So I can definitely go have a cigarette right now while this is doing that without me worrying about this because everything is looking great. So right now we can see the exact temperatures. Like you see how there's like a difference. So when we're looking at the statistics, it's a little lower. Uh, maximum that it hit was 42 for the whole CPU. Minimum was like 24. That was probably like right as soon as we started. Um, currently, it's at 40. It has been for uh, quite some time now. Average is around 37.7, right? 
Uh, yeah, let's see. I thought the test stopped for a second. I was like, what the hell? Uh, so the CPU core voltage maximum that it hit was 1.380. So we're at 1.375. However, I'm not quite sure if it's going to crash on 4.4. It might. It might. Honestly, it might. I think the most that this is going to carry is this. Uh, this voltage is like uh, is this for 4.3. So for 4.4, we might have to up it a little bit, but I'm not gonna do it before I run that benchmark. So we're looking right here. So the voltages have been great. Average is 1.364. So we definitely have some levers, like I said. Uh, this is great, great, great. Uh, DRAM, I think this is DRAM. I believe so. They've been great. CPU clock has not really changed. I mean, this is very normal. You see, I'd really like it if it was like 4,320, just static. You know, I'd love that. But this is as good as it gets. 2210, 2210. I mean, this is overclocking. It's never a 110% or 100% stable. It's just, you're trying to hit that sweet spot. And right now, I'm kind of limited with the 970A DS3P motherboard. It's not that specific as like the, the Pro Series. So that's what I've learned in the past couple of days. And yeah, I just got into overclocking a few days ago. And we're looking very good. Very fucking good. I just, uh, I'm the type of a person that doesn't give up. I just keep going until I get it right. We've been we've been fucking great right here. <clears throat> so the temperatures are still amazing. Each core gets at the same temperature at the same time. There's no difference in different core at all. When one drops, the others drop. When one increases, the others increase. So this was the secondary test. It has been running for about 12 minutes now. I'm going to keep it uh, running, but I want to stop the video because we know that this isn't going to change. But I'm just going to keep running it just to make sure that it's going to be stable. But uh, we'll see you guys on the next video, which is 4.4. And that will be in about 20 minutes.